Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video to see what I'm going to do for Game Week 32. But before that we'll look back at Game Week 31 which if you had at least two of Parma, Foden, Garnacho, you probably got a green. If you didn't you probably got a red and it's pretty much as simple as that. So we start by looking at the top scorer for Game Week 31 in our mini league and Robert Burt with Bottomy This managed to get 101 points. And that was with Captain Odegaard 22, Foden 20, Palmer 20, Garnacho 14, Saliba 7, Darwin 6. And then on the bench, Bowen 5, but who would you have played Bowen instead of? I think that was the right decision, so big well done there. And you may have noticed on the same page, Cohen Prescott with Manchester City Unit also got 101 points. And that was with Captain Foden 40. That's because Haaland was captain, but he never played. So right at the end of the game, if Haaland had come on for a minute, that would have been devastating. <laughs> but he didn't. So Foden got 40 points there. Palmer 20, Garnacho 14, Darwin, Gabriel, Van Heck all got six points. And then on the bench, nothing. So that was pretty good. Top of our league is Mohamed Sabbath K with Arteticas with 48 points. That was with Palmer 20, Zabania 7, Gabriel 6, Bowen 5, and that's all. And on the bench, nothing. And in fact, Haaland was still on the pitch, you see. So he didn't even manage to get 11 players out, just the 10. As for me, I'm all the way down in 153rd. I got 76 points. I had Palmer 20, Foden 20, Isaac got 8, 8 Nori got 8, White 6, Darwin 6, Havertz 5. Uh, I was quite looking forward to the last day because I thought, oh, I'm going to get some points here. And then Gusto, who did have an assist, had the assist taken away. So he went from four points and then he got booked and then he let in three goals. So Gusto got zero. Bradley got an own goal, ended up with zero. Petrovic got one. So um, I could have had a nicer score, but I didn't. But we can all say that every week could have had a nicer score. And on the bench, I got the bench part from the keeper pretty much right. So that's okay. I say pretty much right. Those three didn't even play. So there wasn't really much I could do about that anyway. So five green arrows in a row. So that's a little bit nice. I'm currently 283 from top spot. And with seven weeks left, if I can outscore top by 41 points a week, I can still win the competition. Now in the cup, last week I got knocked out by Ben Johns. And this week he got knocked out by Lucas Eriksson with our Munakar IF, AIF. And that was with Palmer 20, Foden 20, Garnacho 14, Gabriel 6, and that's all. And then on the bench, a minus one with Turner. So it's nice to see Turner's playing. Now there's this new thing, was it Fantasy Challenge, I think it's called. And somebody messaged me and said, oh, can you set up a league? So I did. And then I got another message after the last video saying, you didn't go through who <laughs> topped it. So last week, shout out to, and I'm going to get the name completely wrong, Nodim Uch Liam with Gunners for Life, 78 points. I'm not going through their team because none of us really remember what happened anyway. But well done for winning the first week. And then each week the league gets reset. So top for the week we just had was Johnny Boy with FPL Slava Ukraine with 89 points. And if you're not familiar with this, each week they do something silly. You can have five players from any one team and you can make changes up to the point of their uh, game starting, which is nice. So if you, uh, when you know the lineups, you can change your mind who you're playing. And this week, all the forwards got double points. So Darwin with six points was captain for 12 and doubled for 24. So Darwin 24, Foden 20, Palmer 20, Gabriel 6, White 6. That's how he managed that. Thank you everyone who watches these videos. It's very much appreciated. We just passed the 1300 mark, so that's nice. On the FPL Game Week website, you can look at some of the popular content creators and how they're doing. They've got a little league and when you look, you see where you'd place. And Ben Krellin's currently top. So that's great for him. I think he's very popular in the community. And second place is FPL Fran. So he's fallen from grace because he took a bit of a gamble, but he explained what he was doing when he played his wild card a bit earlier. And just about everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. So I'm sure he's a little bit sad about that just now. And then Mark Southerns is down in eighth. I'm all the way down in 60th, but I have now gone above 
Holly and Az. Az played his wild card this week and it wasn't really worth it in retrospect. Holly still got her free hit though, so I assume she's using that in 34. So uh, she will certainly outscore me in game week 34, you would expect. Now regarding transfers, what I'd like to do is nothing. But it all comes down to Watkins. If it looks likely that Watkins will play, and at time recording we still don't know, then I won't make any transfers. However, if I find out he's definitely not playing or he's highly unlikely to play, then I think I'm going to have to transfer him out. Which is a shame because I wildcarded a couple of weeks ago and I kept Watkins rather than Haaland because I wanted Watkins in the short term. I thought he'd do better. And he probably has actually. <laughs> But from this point on, if Haaland, if uh, Watkins is injured, then obviously Haaland's going to outscore him. So my options are, I can get Nkuna, who in the immediate futures got some nice fixtures, and he does double in 34. However, I may then sell him before the end of the season for somebody else who maybe doubles in 37. So that would be probably a transfer waiting to happen if I do that. Another option is to bring in Hoyland, who I really like. He does double in 37. And his fixture in 34 is good. It's at home to Sheffield United. This week they're at home to Liverpool. But that doesn't bother me because there's such fierce rivalry. Anything could happen anyway. So there are two options. Another option I have is I can actually swap him and get in Haaland. And to fund that I would need to sell Trippier and get in Branthwaite. Now Trippier's out currently reckoned for maybe another three game weeks. But if I do this, it means I'm pretty much committed to not getting Trippier back. But it does solve a problem I have got, which I have Bradley, the Liverpool defender at the moment. And I had him knowing he's almost certainly not going to play in game week 34. So I was thinking I'm going to have to do a transfer to get in a Liverpool player, a third Liverpool player, which would probably be Virgil van Dijk. But if I get in Branthwaite, I can just play him instead. Now, I know he's probably going to score less, fewer points than Virgil. But I could get him, play him in game week 34... And then he could just sit on my bench because I've not got my bench boost. So I don't need 15 doublers for game week 37. I can have a cheap bench. So they're my options. But for now, I'm going to assume Watkins is playing because in my little fancy land, that's what I want. So I've actually got Watkins as captain at home to Brentford. Of course, he used to play for them. And I think he would do if he plays and he can get 90 minutes. I think he'd do well there. And in my vice captaincy, I have with Palmer. Obviously, if I don't have Watkins at all, if I find out he's not playing and do the transfer, then Palmer becomes my captain. And then I've only got two other players at home. That's Pickford at home to Burnley. And then Aiton Norrie at home to West Ham. West Ham looks like won't have Areola in goal. So I think Wolves could get some decent points there. And then I have Bradley away to Man United with his mate Salah and Darwin. I'd have White away to Brighton with his mate Saka. I got Foden away to Palace and I got Isaac away to Fulham. So I'm kind of thinking fewer than 60 points here. But this would be similar to a lot of people's teams. So a lot of teams probably aren't going to do great this week unless somebody does something silly again like Palmer and Foden did. Then on my bench, I'd have Petrovic away to Sheffield United, Havertz away to Brighton, Gusto away to Sheffield United, and Trippier away to Fulham. As for the background picture, I saw in the news yesterday that Lara Croft was voted the most iconic video game character ever. And today's April the 5th, and as no doubt you all know, April the 5th was the date in history where Easter Island was discovered by the Western world. Obviously, people knew about it before that because they built all these Maori there. I think that's what those called, those big statues. So here is Lara Croft, most iconic person, video game person on Easter Island, which was discovered in this day in history. And there we have it. That's what happened in Game Week 31 and my tentative plans for Game Week 32. The chances are I won't know what I'm going to do until tomorrow morning and I'm going to go on the latest news unless we have it confirmed today that Watkins is out. Then I will probably make the move tonight. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you have fun in Game Week 32. Bye. <laughs>